Hello everyone, Boone Langston here. I am not at home and due to technical difficulties, there will not be a live stream tonight. However, I did not want to disappoint you all in the live chat. I'm joining you here for a video about the Series 20 collectible minifigures. This is all unplanned. The world is a little bit crazy right now. The pictures I'm showing you are 100% stolen. I'm going to have to ask for permission Actually, I'm going to have to ask for forgiveness later because I have not asked for permission to use them in this video. The stories I am about to make up about these collectible minifigures are completely fabricated by myself on the fly while I'm shooting this video. I know nothing about these figures. I'm just going to look at them and tell you who I think they are. We're starting off with a girl in a space cap. This is... Shayla Stargazer. When Shayla Stargazer was a young girl, she would lay out in the grass and she would stare up at the stars and she would imagine that one day she would travel to Mars and that's where she has lived in her mind for all of these years. She was ridiculed as a teenager in elementary school. She wasn't a teenager in elementary school, but in both of those times in her life, she got made fun of because she wore a NASA jacket to school every day. I'm actually telling someone's true story. But the glory of it is that she actually grew up to be a person who worked at NASA. It's amazing. All right, so there we go. That is our first collectible minifigure series uh, figure for series 20 and uh, Shayla Stargazer. If you're just joining us, I am making all of this up on the fly. I don't know anything about these figures. Again, I stole these images. I'm going to have to ask for forgiveness later. Hugh Millington, I'm looking at your site. If you ever watch this video, please forgive me. I hope the LEGO group forgives me. We're moving forward. The world is crazy right now. In the same photograph as Shayla Stargazer, we have Olga the Olympian. Olga the Olympian, she's not quite sure if she's a discus thrower or a javelin thrower. Maybe she's accomplished at both. Olga has been an Olympian since she was 17 years old, and this minifigure actually depicts her at 18 and a half. So she's only been doing this stuff for a year and a half. She's dangerous with both the discus and the javelin. You don't want to be anywhere near her when she's throwing these things. She's not good, but she has a gold medal around her neck. The thing is, you and I both know that that gold medal is made out of plastic, ABS to be specific. It's not real. She hasn't earned the gold medal. She bought it at the costume shop down the street from the Javelin Arena. I don't know if where people throw javelins are called Javelin Arenas. It doesn't matter for this video. The world is crazy right now. I'm making this stuff as I go. I stole the pictures from Hugh Millington. Okay, next up, we've got a guy and he is jamming on his keytar. I don't know if this is the first time we've seen a keytar with uh, as a minifigure accessory, but I absolutely love it. I wish I could play the keytar. I'm gonna call this guy Eddie V Keytar. He is screaming out a song and it's probably something like, I'm a Lego figure and I'm playing my keytar. He likes pink. He likes uh, rocket ships. He likes lights, uh, bolts of lightning. He's gonna get out there on the stage with his band. What's his band's name? Um, start putting some band name ideas in the live chat. They're gonna be hilarious. This is all pre-recorded, so I cannot read them, but it's gonna be awesome. And I'll just come up with one right now. Um, his band is called R R R Rocket Pants and, and Eddie's Keytar. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie V. Keytar and the Rocket Pants. That's what it's called. Eddie V. Keytar and the Rocket Pants. Ba -bow! Ba -bow! They were huge in 1986. You're gonna have to go back and look them up. There's, you know, they were very underground. Uh, they weren't very popular. So go look up Eddie V. Keytar and uh, the the Rocket Pants, and maybe you'll find, you know, it, some deep cuts. Look for them. Uh, they had one really great album cover, but I'll let you find it on your own. Okay, in the same picture with Eddie V. Keytar, we have a kid who is holding a drone. 
This is a DJI Phantom 7 drone. Uh, he's got a cut on his face because one time he, he was trying to figure out how that drone worked and he flew the drone in and it, he got cut in the face with one of those drone blades. But the drone, that, that, was, that was the Phantom 6. This is the Phantom 7. It has some new software updates that allow it to tell when it's getting too close to a little kid's face. And, uh, and now he's, he's safer. But he's got that wound bandaged up. And I'm gonna call this kid Timmy. Little Timmy is a, is a name that we often make up when we can't think of other names. But you see, he's got a big red T on his shirt there. And of course, this is, this is little Timmy. And he's going out to capture some uh, footage for his dad's real estate firm. You know, his dad, it, it's, it's a challenging time. We're, we're running into some challenging times here. The economy is tanking. And Timmy's dad, uh, Griff, Griff Vanderbilt, is, is really down on his luck with this whole real estate business. So he, he says, Timmy, come on out here into the field with me for real estate and fly that drone you got up there in the sky and we can get some real nice aerial shots of these houses and maybe I'll be able to sell some more houses this month so you and I can eat, Timmy. Um, you know, this is good stuff. Okay, we're moving on. Again, I don't know anything about these minifigures. This is series 20. I've stolen these pictures. I'm making everything up about these characters as we go. We've got a guy in a green brick suit and he's holding a number 10. And, um, you know, it's clear we're getting the green brick suit guy because we've had like the blue brick suit person, the red brick suit person. One looked like a guy, one looked like a girl. I don't know who they were. Um, but now we've got green and green has a number 10. He is a judge and he hasn't seen Olga the Olympian throw her javelin yet so he's getting ready with the 10 he sees her he looks at her she's got the right uniform on he's thinking this person is gonna go out there and throw some serious javelin so he's getting that 10 ready he's got that 10 board and he's gonna hold it up little does he know olga still can't throw a javelin so brick suit guy in the green we don't know why you're wearing the brick it's green you're a day or two too late for saint patrick's day and you're gonna have to find your 5.5 card because that is what olga is going to deserve when she throws that javelin in the same picture as the green brick judge we have mama in her llama pajamas mama loves to dress up she has kids and she gets the kids all dressed up and they go to family costume parties where they enter their family into you know these judged costume uh, uh, award um, uh, what are those called competition would be the word i was looking for and mama loves llamas she went to peru she climbed up into the mountains she met some llamas she stole that carrot from a llama it was the carrot she's holding in her hand was supposed to be eaten by a real live llama, but she saved it. It was her one uh, token, her one memento, her one souvenir from Peru, and she brought it home, and she was inspired. The next costume competition, I've got to wear the, uh, I've got to be a llama, but she couldn't, she went to the costume shop. She couldn't find a llama. She went to the Halloween store. She couldn't find a llama costume. Then she ended up in the adult pajamas section and she found the llama pajamas and she's put on the llama pajamas. She's the mama. They're going to compete. They'll probably win and she's going to hold that carrot. I think she must have dipped it in formaldehyde or something like that so that it doesn't rot. All right, we're moving on. Next up, we've got Johnny Nunchuck. Johnny Nunchuck, is that like, oh man, okay, yeah. So this is really inspired by Andy Dwyer uh, from Parks and Recreation. But this is not Johnny Karate, this is Johnny Nunchuck. Uh, maybe it should be something more like uh, uh, alliterative, like Nicky Nunchuck or um, Ned Nunchuck. I like Johnny Nunchuck, I'm sticking with Johnny Nunchuck. And he goes out there and you know, he's that kid at the beginning of the movie, like he's getting into trouble and then he meets this guy, you know, like across the fence and he can only see like half of the guy's 
face across the fence and the guy becomes his mentor and he teaches him how to fix the fence and he teaches him how to wash a car and then he teaches him how he just goes straight to nunchucks. He teaches the kid how to use nunchucks and that's how he becomes Johnny Nunchuck because his name was Johnny Niedermeyer um, which Johnny Niedermeyer just you know it doesn't roll off the tongue as well as Johnny Nunchuck and then Eddie V. Kitar played the theme song for that movie and he was like Nunchuck. you know what I'm saying you get it you get it all right next to Johnny Nunchuck we have a gal here and her name is boy I have to take a moment to take a breath and remind you I don't know anything about these minifigures I'm making up all of these stories on the fly again Hugh Millington my friend we've had lunch together I'm sorry I stole these images from your website. Please forgive me. I hope I don't get in serious trouble with the Lego group. I hope that uh, what I'm doing here with this video is in the spirit of creativity and togetherness as we're all separated from each other, uh, you know, locked down in our homes. This is the way of the world right now. And we're just trying to, we're just trying to like, what can we do? What can we do? We just got to keep it going. So I'm making up these stories about these series 20 collectible minifigures from Lego. Next up, we got Jaina, Jaina on the street. She's got her beat box, Jaina on the street. She's got a box of beat. Okay. She's going out there. You know, she's like one of those Da break dancing youtubers okay she not on the street she's got her box of beats she's a break dancing youtuber and she goes out there and she's probably from like new york and i think if someone were gonna play shana on the street it would probably be um oh what's that gal from snl um uh not vanessa bayer um all right y'all put it in the chat you know who i'm talking about she's like that very New York actor from SNL, and she could totally play Shayna on the street. Um, she's gonna get out there, she's gonna set up her camera, she's got like the fisheye lens, she's gonna, you know, throw out that big piece of cardboard, turn on the, hit the beat on the box, and, and start doing her break dance thing. It's gonna be awesome. She's gonna have so many subscribers, it's gonna like be through the roof, and then like, but we're gonna find out that it was because like someone, you know, was doing something else totally random in the background and that's why people thought it was funny. But Shayna's awesome, she's rad. Okay, next up, we are moving on to a picture. Man, I'm looking at a picture here and this is a person with green lipstick in a pea pod costume holding an apple. I don't know what's going on here. This may be the strangest one of the entire group. And what I'm getting is that this is the beginning of a food group series of minifigures. And, you know, the fruits and vegetables go together in that food pyramid, form that solid base. And so next, you know, we're probably going to be seeing, like, the cow costume person with a slice of cheese for the dairy group. Um, you know, and then, like, a, a, a pig person a person in a pig costume wait a second we've already seen all these costumes this is actually the end of the food pyramid saga for collectible lego minifigures i'm just gonna call her penelope p uh penelope p in the peapod costume with an apple and i don't i'm just i don't know what the apple means it's like peas and apples i'm gonna eat some peas and apples penelope p in a peapod costume with a red apple next to her in this image is someone in a scuba gear and i'm gonna call this scuba susan scuba susan loves turtles and here's how i know it wouldn't be enough if scuba susan was holding a turtle in her hand that could be happenstance scuba's holding a turtle we don't know why it wouldn't be enough if scuba susan's wetsuit had a turtle on it but you put those two things together you put them together and bingo magic you know scuba susan has got to love turtles 
she's going out there, she's doing a little snorkeling, she's doing a little flipping around with her flippers, she's doing, you know, the, uh, 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 the scuba action, she's pulling up some plants from under the, under the water, I don't know why, that seems like, uh, anti, anti-productive to, you know, maintaining a healthy ecosystem, uh, you know, there in, in the reef where Scuba Susan is checking out the turtles. But she's got her pet turtle there. You know, that turtle I think is probably named Timmy the Turtle. Again, because Timmy is the name we come up with for characters when we when we don't have any other names. Uh, Scuba Susan, she's got her snorkel on, she's got her flippers on, she's out there, she's having a grand time in the reef, and she befriends Timmy the Turtle. That all makes sense, right? Okay, we are moving on. If you have joined us just in the last few minutes, this is a piece of content that only exists because I'm not at home. Some technical difficulties have prevented me from doing a live stream this evening. Not sure what to do about it. You know, we're all kind of trapped uh, in in these isolation zones, and we're just trying to. I want I wanted you to have an opportunity to dive into the live chat, to interact with me. I'll be in the live chat. I am in the live chat, but it's not like me, me, because this was recorded, you know, like an hour or so ago. So it's like the now me, whereas the me that you're looking at on camera is actually like the past me so this is sort of like a video that's traveling through time and I, I just really wanted you to be able to have something to do at 6 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday night like we usually have a full spotlight live but unfortunately due to some technical difficulties I can't live stream so I've got to be able to have a piece of content that I can upload in advance but we're still interacting. We're here in the live chat. We're having a good time. I'm taking these uh, these collectible minifigure series 20 images. No, I literally took them. I stole them um, from Brickset.com. These are Hugh Millington's photographs, and I've said it many times. I I, I have to just ask for forgiveness after this video is over. And uh, the same thing goes for Lego. I, the images are out there. I know that I'm, uh, you know, committing flagrant plagiarism in this video. And I, I just hope that, um, you know, the spirit of what we all have going on here is, is, is good enough that, that we can keep moving forward and that we can keep all having a good, a productive relationship in, in supporting the Lego fan community here. Okay, so next up, we've got two little kids. These little kids are so wonderful. And the first one is a little child in uh, I, a South American-inspired, Central American-inspired poncho, uh, and he's got a piñata, and he's got a sombrero, and uh, this kid, I'm, I'm just going to call him Piñata Boy. This is Piñata Boy. And it's, he's, it is his birthday party, uh, and un unfortunately, because of the virus, he's alone at his birthday party, and he's gonna be the sole kid who has to beat that pinata until it gives over its reserves of, 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 of tasty candy and delicious treats. So, pinata boy, um, you've got a smile on your face, pinata boy, you're gonna make it through this thing, and happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Pinata Boy. You know, turning five is just really, really a special time in all of our lives. Um, and uh, and, and I, wish you, I wish you the best uh, fifth year, Pinata Boy. I hope it is nothing but uphill from here. All right, in the same picture as Pinata Boy. Oh, look. Oh, it's little... Um, uh, her name is Annie, 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 <laughs> Annie Honey. Her first name is Annie, her last name is Honey, and she loves bunnies. And, and, and it's coincidentally that her last name rhymes with the thing that she likes the most. So Annie Honey loves a bunny. She's got a bunny that she takes to bed with her at night. It's a squishy thing and, and it smiles most of the time. And she's got those pink pajamas with the bunnies on them. Oh, Annie Honey, what a cute little girl and her bunny, her little stuffed bunny. 
Um, now there's there's people in the room, and uh, they have no idea what I'm doing, and they think I've gone crazy. Um, again, we're moving on. We're gonna name just a few more. Oh, it looks like we've got four more left. We've been going for 20 minutes. Thank you all so much for watching. Boone Langston here. This is Boone Builds. Please subscribe. This is one of the strangest pieces of content I've ever made. It is because, you know, these technical difficulties are preventing me from doing the normal live stream that I do on Thursday evenings. So instead, I'm talking about the Series 20 collectible minifigures. I'm making up everything I possibly can about these figures. I don't know anything about them. Um, so, so I'm just making this stuff up. Next, we have Phil, and Phil is, you know, one of those guys who likes to go to Renaissance fairs. He goes to Renaissance fairs, he's built this helmet for himself out of, you know, that EVA foam that you can buy at Harbor Freight and you cut it up and you glue it together and you paint it and, and then he puts it on his head and, and he, he, now he is Sir Phil. So this is Sir Phil, and he is part of the Black Sparrow clan at the Renaissance Fairs. So he has the Black Sparrow on his shield there. And in the Black Sparrows, they all get together and they kind of do a little dance and they go, because that's the Black Sparrow's call, you know, when they're about to get ready for, for LARPing, for battle at the Renaissance Fair. And they do that thing, and they dum dum dum. You know, there's like a drummer with a dum 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 dum. It's all it all makes perfect sense when you see it. I'm sorry, I don't have any footage of it to show you, but uh, Phil, this weekend he's going to the Renaissance Fair. He's doing some live action role playing, and he, uh, it, of course, we have to call him Sir Phil. Sir Phil. Okay, next up in the same image we have this guy and his. Name, man, I, I, you know, it's I so badly want to call him like Ultraman or like the Red Ranger, but he's gonna be, um, oh man, this one's really hard for me because I'm so unfamiliar with this type of of media genre. But a, the guy that would be inside this would be, uh, we're gonna call him the Crimson, um, the Crimson. Crusader. Okay, that's fine. I like it. The Crimson Crusader. He goes out there and you know he can he can fight like human-sized people, or if there's like a giant monster that like comes out of the water, like then he can go like Crimson what did I call him? Crimson uh Crimson uh cr not Crimson Creator, Crimson uh, Crimson Crusader? Crimson Crusader? Okay, so and then the Crimson Crusader can be like Crimson Crusader enlarge! And it goes like Okay, and then the Crimson now the Crimson Crusader is like just as huge as like the shark monster that has come up out of the water, and the Crimson Crusader can be like, oh, I have my green, you know, atomic sword, and I can be like, and the shark goes and like melts down into the ground, and the Crimson Crusader is like, yeah, and everyone is like, yeah, Crimson Crusader, he saved us. Okay, there we go. That's the Crimson Crusader. Moving on, this, a Viking, obviously inspired by the homeland of the Lego company. This is uh, Vol, Vol de, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be so bad because I'm gonna try to make up like a Danish word and I don't know any Danish. Um, so I'll just say his name is like, um, uh, Oh, I, I had a double V. I had a double V in my name. Look, this you get 24 minutes uh, of this before I just can't think of anything else. And that's that's where we've come so far. So this is going to be um, uh, Wolf, Wolf Vladstadt is what I'm going to call this, uh, this, this Viking. And someone is probably going to comment somewhere and say that I've, I've, I've said, you know, some sort of curse word in some other language. And so I, I hope that's not the case, but this guy, you know, he's got a Viking rune on his, 
um, his little medallion there. He's got the white and the blue that you know stand for like the Wolf Clan in in the uh, the for the Vikings there. He's got this awesome spear element, and uh, I think that that looks like a newish element or maybe um, maybe an old element, but it but it looks good and it's perfect for the Viking. He doesn't have the horns, which I've just like recently discovered that it's more accurate that there wouldn't be horns on the Viking helmet. But I like to think, I like to think that if I had been a Viking, I would have thought like, you know what, nobody has horns on their helmet, but wouldn't it be sweet if I had horns on my helmet? And then I'd probably, you know, go back to the, uh, the, the EVA foam and make some. Um, it, it, that's neither here nor there. I'm just kind of spouting off ideas. I, you know, I, I'm not going to commit to that. I'm not going to commit to it. I'm just saying if I had been there in the times of the Vikings, I probably would have thought of the horn idea and it would have been cool and people would have been like, oh, Boone, Boone uh, you know, Boone Viking, Viking Boone, he's the one with the horns on his helmet. And like, that's pretty cool. And some people would be like, I think I might like to do horns on my helmet. Um, but I probably shouldn't because people would just think I was copying Viking Boone. Um, anyway, I don't know what to say about it, but there's Vlad. Uh, he's, he's done a great job looking like an authentic, Vi uh, an authentic Viking. And finally, we just have one more minifigure to look at. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. This only happened because my technical difficulties prevented me from having the normal live stream that I do on Thursday evenings. And instead, uh, I am making up stories uh, that are 100% improv, 100% falsified, and uh, uh, just by me during this taping. Uh, I hope you're having fun in the live chat. I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions. And I hope this has been somewhat entertaining. And now we've whittled our way all the way down to, oh, I guess I'll call her oh, oh, Wendy the Wench. Um, is that a bad word? Uh, you know how pirates, oh, she's a, no, okay, I'll call her um, uh, Petunia Pirate. Or maybe Pirate Petunia. I, I never know, it, like, is it Boone the Viking or Viking Boone? Is it? Petunia Pirate or Pirate Petunia. I kind of like Pirate Pirate Petunia, um, and we'll call her that. And and she, she's been a pirate all her life. She was actually born on a pirate ship. If I could choose, I would say she was born on the Black Seas Barracuda. That would make her 31 years old at, at the time of this taping. Um, people know her by the birthmark that she has on her face and in that way I identify with her because I've got, I've got, you know, that stuff going on. Um, and she's just a little bit, she's like a little bit mean. She's got that hum, but it's like, it's like she's a little bit like, almost like half smiling for the camera, but she doesn't want to smile for the camera. But in a way she's like, ah, and she's maybe has like a tooth missing or a gold tooth. It's hard for me to tell in the picture, but uh, pirate, what did I call her? Pirate Petunia? Pirate Petunia, she also has those, uh, you know, classic pirate pants and uh, a, a very nice looking trifold hat. I think it, it looks like a different element to the original trifold hat. So maybe this is a, or tricorn, is it tricorn? Not trifold. A tri, the, the tricorn hat element that has like hair attached to it. So um, this is a great looking pirate. Um, well, that's it, everybody. That has been just my quick take completely falsified, um, you know, completely pirated images we got here. Thank you, Hugh. I Please forgive me for taking these from your website. And Lego, um, I, 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 I apologize, please, up and down. We're just trying to figure out how to move forward in, in this, this new world that we've all been dealt. Uh, as it were. Um, <laughs> I am Boone Langston. If you want to check out my website, it's Boone at, uh, it's, it's boonebuilds.com. If you want to shoot me an email, it's Boone at boonebuilds.com. I am Boone Builds on Instagram. I am Boone Builds on Facebook. And of course, please subscribe to Boone Builds here on YouTube. Thank you for watching. And until next time, build on.